high in this particular or specific video we will see how to fix could not connect to backend services on fire application are you getting some kind of error which says could not connect to backend services on FIAM application. We all know that FIAM is a popular modification for the Grand Theft Auto V, that is GTA V, video game that allows players to connect to custom multiplayer service servers. It was developed by Citizen FX Collective and it was released in the year 2015. Okay, so whenever you are playing, whenever you are trying to play this FIAM application you might be getting some kind of errors and one of the error which shows could not connect to backend services okay this is one of the error in this particular gaming software or application so we'll try to understand why we are getting this kind of particular error and we also will try to understand how we can come out of this particular error by fixing this particular error okay so let's see like what are the causes for this particular error okay so there can be few reasons few reasons like why you are not able to properly connect it to the fiam server okay so in this section we will get to know or we'll try to learn some of the problems that might be caused for the error okay and the first reason is you're not running fiam as an administrator if you're not running your fiam from command as an administrator it might cause the issue where your system uh, will not be able to connect it to the fiam backend services the second cause is your proxy settings is not configured properly if your proxy settings are not configured properly then also you will be having issues when trying to run this particular application some countries might have might have some policies against it causing it to stop to service request okay so you might be playing you might be using this application in some of the regions or some of the countries where you are not supposed to use this particular application so in that case like you are supposed to use the proxy site or the proxy setting by doing the proxy settings then probably you can use this application so that's the reason like you might be getting this particular issue the third cause is your system requests are getting blocked by devices so antivirus will treat these kind of applications or software as a junk or spam so it will not allow you to connect it to this reason the fourth reason is the firewall for your system is stopping fiam from connecting you to the servers okay similarly uh, like the way antivirus will treat even the firewall also will treat these kind of applications as a spam or it also sometimes treats these kind of applications as a harmful application for the system then it will stop the FIAM from functioning properly. Okay, so we have understood what are the causes for this particular error. Now we'll try to see and we'll try to fix how we can come out of this particular error. Okay, so but you might be worried about how we can resolve it. So no need to get worried, we'll try to understand the some of the steps like how we can overcome this particular problem okay so the first method is the first solution is uh, try to run fiam application on your system as an administrator this could make fiam solve the issue of not being able to connect to backend services to run fiam as an administrator Follow the steps which are mentioned here. Right click on the PyM shortcut on your desktop, then select run as administrator from the context menu. Okay, 
So that's the first solution or the first method. And the second solution is correct network settings. You will also have to connect with the proper IP settings if you want FIAM application is able to send service requests. Okay. So in that case, like what you have to do is like in the search bar type network and sharing center. Just try to see what I'm doing. Just try to copy. In the search bar type network and sharing center. Open network and sharing center. Then go to left hand side and then select change adapter settings. Then right click on the Wi-Fi from the window that has opened and select properties. And a pop-up window will appear. Choose Internet Protocol version 4 and then select properties from the below options. In this section, in that particular section, for use the following DNS server address that put the value as 1111 as preferred server and 1001 for alternate DNS server and then click OK. And the step number seven is close all the windows now. So once you are done with all this, then try to restart your computer, then try to open the file application, then the problem will be solved. If the problem is still not solved, uh, we'll see what we have to do in the third method. And the third method is disable your antivirus. We all will be using the antivirus in our system or the computer. What you can do is like you can try to um, uninstall or you can stop your antivirus for some time or you can disable your antivirus for some time. Uh, probably once you stopped or once you done finishing using the particular application that is a FIAM application then you can, you can unlock or you can re-enable to use it. Okay, that's the third method. And the fourth method is disable your firewall as an alternative. You can also try to disable your firewall and see if the firewall works on the system. However, disabling your firewall is not recommended as your system can get attacked by the virus if you do that. So just be cautious before you disable your system's firewall. Okay, so, so systems will not let you disable your firewall at all some systems so wh what you can do is like once you're done with using the FIAM application and again you, you can re-enable the firewall it's the fourth method the fifth method is use VPN in your system okay you can also try to use VPN in your system to see if that works some countries have restriction which clash with the policies of FIAM app this could be the reason like why that app cannot function properly in that particular country. Okay, so you are sitting in some of the region or the country where you are not supposed to use this proper application that is a FIAM application. So in that case like what you have to do is like you have to use the VPN. You can use the virtual private network or you can use the proxy server or proxy setting okay then you can use this particular application that's the fifth method. and the sixth method is contact FIAM support team FIAM support team is always ready to help you if you are facing the issue if you are not able to resolve this issue contact the FIAM support team this is the website support.cfx.re this is the website what you can do is like you can go to this particular website click on submit a request so here you can select help and support so here you can enter the email id your email id and here you can enter the subject the subject is like the proper the proper subject which uh, which shows like you know, whatever the problem you are facing suppose in this case uh, you you can just mention like could not connect to backend services and here you can enter the entire description of the problem what you are facing 
and here finally you can attach the screenshot of the error whatever you are facing then finally you can submit this particular issue okay and the back end support team will try to resolve the issue they will get back to you and they will come up with the solution and the problem will be resolved okay so these are the methods what you can follow in order to overcome this particular problem okay so that's all about this